Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. First of all, before we get into the transfers, let's start off with Olivia Giroud. Well done to him last night. Big, big goal for him. The opening goal of Euro 2016 scored by him. A very good header and uh, good to see him and also Koscielny get off to a good start with the Arsenal team, so with, with the French team representing Arsenal. So well done to those two. Uh, getting into the transfers, we're going to kick off today with Jamie Vardy. Yes, he's still in the news. Vardy, this time uh, Ray Parler, Arsenal legend Ray Parler, was on Talk Sport talking about the whole Jamie Vardy saga. And he said, uh, and these are his quotes, he says, it looks like it isn't happening now. I was at the Arsenal the other day, and there were big reports flying around and the club's cameraman and digital staff had to get down to the training ground. So it looked like it was going to happen. There was a medical being done, but it seems Vardy thought about it while away on England duty and suddenly there was a U-turn. So following that, lots of speculation that the deal's off. It was flying around. That doesn't really say if he's made his mind up or not. It's still up in the air. Still, for me, if he was 100% decided that he's not coming to Arsenal, why did he just say before he went to the Euros? It'd be a lot better for him. There'd be no speculation flying around in the background. His wife wouldn't have to go on TV like she did yesterday and be, you know, not saying where they're going to go, etc. So, I still think he's thinking about it, to be honest, but it could go either way. That's basically what it is at the moment. It could go either way. And I know that there's a lot of Arsenal fans not happy that Vardy at the moment has got us, you know, basically sitting down waiting on his decision. And I was thinking about it. What is a good alternative to Jamie Vardy? I mean, we've all spoke about Alvaro Morata. We know that um, originally that was seemed to be the player that Arsenal was going after. And I thought to myself, and quite a few of guy, you guys have mentioned it in the comments, I thought to myself, it's, it's true. What about Lacazette? Alexander Lacazette. What's happened to him? I mean, we used to hear him getting mentioned a lot. Uh, West Ham and Tottenham have been looking at him. West Ham apparently had a £31 million bid for him rejected. So Lacazette, you know, is a player that could be bought. with The Leon um, sporting director at the time sort of said, listen, uh, the future of Lacazette is going to be decided by Lacazette himself. And Arsenal will be able to offer him Champions League football. And if you look at Lacazette, he's very similar to Vardy. Similar style in that he's very quick, very mobile, and also a very, very good finisher. And if you, you look at his record, um, you know, last season he scored uh, 23 goals. The previous season to that, he scored 29 goals. He's younger than Vardy. He's only 25 years of age. He only just turned that as well. I know he didn't make it into the... Uh, the French squad, but then, you know, look at the strikers they've got. Like, you know, they've got Giroud, Martial, they've got an abundance of strikers, really. So, could Lacazette be a good player to move for? It'd be more expensive than Vardy. We know that Vardy is a lot cheaper. Vardy's going to be like, what, 20 million release clause. Uh, wages about 120,000 um, a week. Not cheap, but cheaper. Uh, probably Lacazette's wages might be less than that. I don't know, but why not? He's younger, so you'd have a better resale, you know? So if, if he did come and do really well, you know, you could get like three years out of him at least, and he'd still only be 28, which again, that's still younger than Vardy. So why not Lacazette? It's a strange one, that, because we seem to be linked with him really heavily the previous season, but it's really died down, and French player, normally Arsene Wenger's right in for those sort of players. So... I don't know. I'd like to get your guys' view on it. Do you think Lacazette should be maybe the guy that we're going in for as an alternative for Jamie Vardy? Rather than us sitting here waiting on Vardy, I'm hoping that Arsenal are making moves behind the scene to get an alternative. You know what I mean? Let's just let Vardy think that, you know, yeah, you lot wait on me sort of thing. You know what I mean? Look at the alternatives. And Lacazette's not playing in the Euros at the moment, so it's something that could be, you know, could be done. So let's see what happens uh, with that. But I think Lacazette would be a great alternative. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Ricardo Rodriguez, we're going to get a chance to take a look at him today. He's playing for Switzerland against Albania. And um, the links are still there. It's still heavily being reported that 
uh, Arsenal are going to move in for Ricardo Rodriguez. A lot of people linking Kieran Gibbs with a move away as well to Liverpool, which would free up the way for Ricardo Rodriguez. Exciting left back. And as I said, we get a chance to see him today playing for uh, Switzerland. And finally, Rob Holding. This one, every day gets hotter and hotter and hotter. There's a lot of speculation that the deal's been done and that Rob Holding will be signing for Arsenal. As I said a couple of days ago, I'm still unsure what is he going to come straight in because we've got Callum Chambers there who can't get straight in. Is he going to be sent back out on loan? It's, it's a real um, strange one. But there's a lot of speculation going around at the moment saying that, you know, this is basically a done deal. The Arsenal have already sort of, you know, done all their sort of dealings um, with Bolton and it is going to happen. And of course, it's a much easier deal to get done than, say, uh, getting a deal with somebody like a Jamie Vardy. Anyway, let's get into what you guys um, had to say yesterday. Uh, Danny Wellblack, <laughs> he says, uh, one day I will look back at my life and I will remember why I stopped watching football because my club got held hostage by a chav from Leicester City. <laughs> so he's obviously not happy. Uh, Doctor says, Arsenal, big club, but Vardy is telling us now, nah, mate, I'll tell you later. This is not a big club anymore, unless you mean big money machine for Wenger and the board. So them two not happy, not happy at all. Um, Mr. Dialama JWE says, no, 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 no more central midfielders. Doesn't make any sense. He must be going on about, we're talking about Mkhitaryan. He says, we've got Wilshire, Ramsey, Shaka, Elneny, Kozola, Ozil, Coquelin, Iwobi. We even have John Torrell, who, we had, who had an amazing season last year. Uh, get a world-class, high-quality winger to match Sanchez on the left um, at the top and a centre-back. No more central mids. And um, one more here. Majib says, let's forget about Vardy and go for Higuain, Higuain Lukaku or Lacazette. He mentions Lacazette as well. And last one here, Clarence Ong says, priorities to get Mkhitaryan done first. We shouldn't dwell on Vardy. And I'll tell you what, going through the comments yesterday, that seems to be a reflection. A lot of people are not happy with Vardy. They're like, you know what, Vardy, do one. If you can't give us a decision yet, who are you to keep us waiting all the way through this window? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is Lacazette a good um, alternative? Or let me know about other alternatives. Icardi's another one. I know Icardi said he doesn't want to leave Inter, but this is about being aggressive in the transfer market. And we, to prize away a big striker, it's what we're going to have to do. Uh, don't forget to check out the Man Like Robbie channel. Uh, we've done a um, uh, feature straight after the France game. That's what we're going to be doing. A lot of reaction videos to some of those games. So uh, make sure you check that out. We're going to be all over the England game tonight. So make sure you check it out. Good luck to Jack Wilshire playing in that. And uh, also be interesting to see how Granite Shaka gets on today against his brother. Um, he, his brother plays for Albania. So that should be a really interesting one. Thanks for watching and we'll be back around about the same time tomorrow.